What's up guys, Shane and Figure Deck 3D Printing, and today we're gonna check out the October Maker Box. So welcome back guys. Before I start anything, let me just tell you, I've already done this. Uh, this video is, was filmed, the later part of it, well actually all of this was filmed like a month ago. I went to go edit it just this past weekend and I'm missing this entire opening segment. So I'm redoing it right now for you guys so that I can actually get this out. So things might look a little different. You know, my hair is probably uh, shorter. I think I had longer hair then, uh, longer beard now. Stuff's in the background is different. Anyways, again, this is the October Maker box. So let's dig in and see what came this month. Okay, right off the top, they have the discounts, which they do a code now. You go onto their website, put in the code, it gives you all the discounts for everything. That way they're not printing so much. Uh, and a couple of little things, what did you print, join the community, things like that on here. But we're interested in the filament. All right, so the first one we have here is 3D850 PLA by Materio 3D. And this is a very nice red. Looks really nice on my shirt there too. Okay, so the print settings, hot end temperature, 190, 230C. Bed temperature off to 70C, 55C is typical. Speed less than 55 millimeters a second. It is non-abrasive and yes, you should use cooling on this. The info is a high quality PLA that can be printed like normal PLA and then annealed by heating to 70C for a few minutes to improve toughness and temperature resistance. Check out all the available colors and options and the color samples included in this month's box. So that is what the little prize or gimme thing that everyone was so secretive about it is this so this is material 3d's samples that they gave and they have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twenty sixteen colors on here and they're all just these little cards which is really nice i mean they're clear is actually rather clear uh, even for having 100 percent infill these what these all look like but yeah these are cool little cards to kind of have to showcase their colors i don't really like that so this uh, should be a fun filament to print out. All right, next we have tea glass from Tallman 3D. As you can see again, I've already printed all this, but it is a like a clear turquoise, I would say. Print settings, hot and temperature 230 to 245C, bed temperature 55 to 60C, speed 30 to 60 millimeters a second. It is non-abrasive. And the info is this is a PETT material that is very strong and has great transparent properties. So this would look great as a vase. I like printing my coin though, and we'll see how this end up turning out. That's a surprise for this one. All right, now we have another mouthful one here. We have high temperature polycarbonate ABS alloy by Protopasta in this, uh, I guess, ivory color, naturalish color filament. All right, the print settings, this is non-abrasive. Part cooling fan is off, just like the ABS. The hot and temperature, 270 to 290 C. So you have to have an all metal heat break, an all metal hot end in order to print this material. Also the bed temperature, 110 to 140 C, super duper hot. Uh, most of the, well I guess most of the PCB heated beds will get there eventually, but if you're using like a silicone heat pad or you have a smaller printer, you have a much better chance of reaching those higher temperatures or 24 volt. But 12 volt, like the FT5, 12 volt, huge bed, never gonna hit that temperature. So um, you'll need to do something special depending on what your setup is, but just realize this is super hot, must have an all metal hot end. It's gonna be awesome. The build plate material treatment, consider of PEI, build tack, hairspray on glass, or ABS slurry. Special considerations, moisture sensitive, dry at 90 C for an hour prior to printing for best results. I will say I did put this in my Oven at 200 Fahrenheit, which is the lowest I could get that to go, which I think is around 100 centigrade, 100 and some change, I don't know. Um, but that's what I had to do, and I dried this out for that hour. It worked out well, but you'll see the results here soon. Info, it is a PC ABS blend, which is a great option for high temp, tough functional parts. So yeah, this is very finicky, and you have to have special uh, equipment, I would say, to print this. You're not gonna print this on your regular old 3D printer. You need to have something special for this. All right, now we have Polymax PLA by Polymaker and just a regular old white. The print settings on this are 190 to 220C, bed temperature off to 55C, speed 49 millimeters a second. It is non-abrasive, special build surface required, no. So you can print this pretty much on anything. Info, a 3D printing material with excellent mechanical properties and printing quality. Impact resistant of up to nine times that of regular PLA and better overall mechanical properties than ABS. So they boast a lot about this 
and I really wish I w would have like the scientific knowledge to scientific knowledge to like figure out and like do real testing on that kind of like Tom does. But that's not my thing. I want to see how well these print. So let's get these loaded on the printers. You guys can watch some time lapses and then I'll come right back with the results. All right, so before we get started, let's talk about how the spool performed, and it was great, to be honest. It was super easy to print. Like I said, this just fits on a 200 by 200 millimeter bed. I would suggest that the author kind of shrink this down just a little bit. It doesn't need to be quite this big, but the nice thing about it is it fits the spools. All of four of these fit on here absolutely perfectly. This is a great size for where the actual filament sits, but this extra bit up here can definitely be toned down just a little bit. As like I said, it's very easy to install. It has the notches. You just press it on and then you turn it and it locks it in place. And that's it. It's on. It's good to go. Again, I had zero issues with this. So this is definitely going to be a go-to model for me and something that I will definitely keep around for quite a while. Now for the prints. All right, so first up we have Polymax PLA by Polymaker. This is obviously white. I keep my hands behind it so you guys can see it. And it turned out great. This is printed on the CR10. There were no significant issues anywhere that I could see. The walls all came out really nice. It did fairly well over the support. Uh, better than most, you know, cheap PLAs, I would say, do that. There was a little bit of something on my nozzle. It clearly came off onto the print. That was not on the filament at all. And the top layers, as you can see, there's no real under extrusions anywhere or over extrusions. It just, it printed great. I mean, this is super easy to print. I printed this at 205 centigrade at 70 millimeters a second. No problem at all. It came right off the build plate like it should, so this was good. Okay, next here we have the high temperature polycarbonate ABS alloy by Protopasta. Wow, that is a mouthful. Okay, so with this, you have to bake it for, well, the, the raw filament, so this, you need to bake for an hour at 90 centigrade. Well, the lowest setting on my oven was 260 degrees, so 90 centigrade, I believe, is about 200. So it was about 260 degrees. So I only did it for 45 minutes. I came right downstairs, threw this on the FT5, enclosed it. I don't know if you need to. And I did keep my fan off for this because it tells you to keep that on the directions. And I had it enclosed and, you know, one, two, three, it printed. No problem at all. It didn't have any failures. Again, something on my nozzle on the FT5 as well. I need to clean those up a little bit. Something got on there and uh, on the bill plate with this type of white. So this is like a natural color. And what I can say about this is, number one, layer lines are practically, you know, unseeable, very hard to see. But so all the support prints underneath this. All of these holes get support, you know, these overhangs here. When I pulled this off the build plate, the support didn't come with it. All the support stayed on the build plate, which was crazy. I'd never seen that before. So it separated very, very easily. And this actually is a very, very light filament uh, it is the same uh, it just feels light in comparison to everything else I mean, it's the same infill it just feels light i don't know i don't know why or how to explain it but yeah, i mean there's no stringing i didn't under extrude or over extrude anywhere it just absolutely came out great so this is printed at 280 degrees centigrade 120 on the bed right on the build surface no problems whatsoever it just turned out absolutely fantastic i really like this one a little hard to print with because you have to have a high temperature uh, nozzle, you have to have high temperature throat, you have to have high temperature printer in general. So this is not for everyone to print with, you have to have the hardware to be able to do this, but it did come out really, really good. All right, now something easier to see here, we have 3D850 PLA by Materio 3D and this super duper bright red, which I really like. It has a glorious shine to it. And on the bottom here as well, you can see it just turned out great, nice and flat. Over the support, it did fairly well. There's a little bit stuck here in this corner, seems to be, I didn't get it all out. And there's still another piece down in here. Uh, the support held extremely well to the model. Well, probably a little bit better than I was hoping. And on the bridging, these overs here, uh, they were okay. But the walls smooth, I mean, the printer printed this out just great. 
tiny bit of string, like two, three, four, like five strings in there, but that's easy to fix up. Yeah, this printed out glorious. I mean, this was at a standard PLA pretty much. 210 with a 60C bed, I printed at 50 millimeters a second. So a little slower, but again, no real issues printing this at all. And the shine that it gives off is great. Print this on some PEI or glass, have a bottom shine, the whole print will just shine. And that's really nice. All right, tea glaze by Tallman 3D gave me some issues. So here is my first print at 200%. I didn't even take the uh, support off of it. Do you see a little bit of stringy going on in there, but it, it didn't finish obviously here. It snagged. So there was a snag in that 16 meters of filament, you know, which is really not that much. And the spool was just not wound properly and I didn't notice it. So when I put on the printer, I thought it was like good, and this happened. So since this happened, I can't do another one 200% because it got too far. I can, if it's up to like 50%, I can do another 200% uh, um, coin, but I couldn't. So here's this one at 150%. It's stringy as all get out. I mean, I printed this at 235C, which is right in the middle. They wanted 230 to 245 with a 60 C bed at 50 millimeters a second. You know, it, it's a, PETT material, whatever that is. So I'm guessing this is some sort of kind of like pet G maybe. But I mean, the walls, I mean, it's really smooth. The printer printed it very well. The quality was good. The top is a little rough down in here. Up here is smooth though on top of these top layers, but down here is rough for some reason. And of course, again, all that stringing is just no fun at all. So this was okay. Uh, maybe this would probably be better in a vase mode as they were shown on their website which it did look like it should be done, but I didn't like to do vase modes, like do this to kind of show off, can the print, can the filament support, uh, you know, standard printing? And it can, but probably need to work on retraction or temperature or something like that, but it turned out okay. All right guys, so that is the October Maker Box. It came out really well for the most part. Uh, I, like I said, just had the snag on this one and then it was just a bit stringy with this tea glaze from Tallman. It's a very cool color. I really like the color. I like the translucent aqua color of it. It's very nice. I just needed dowel settings and more and it's really hard to do when you only get a small sampling of filament. So you do what you can with what you have. Sadly, this is the best that I could do. Now, if you guys want to get a maker box, so you can try a different filament like this. There'll be a link down below. Go ahead and hit that link and then go ahead and use the coupon code that is listed down there and you'll get 15% off your first box. If you sign up on the website, you only get 10% off the first box. With my code, you get 15%. For every three of you out there that sign up to MakerBox, I get a free box, which is great because it's one less thing that I have to buy. I purchase these with my own money every month unless I do get three people to subscribe during that month time period and then I end up getting refunded my $19.50 or $19, whatever it is. But this is a monthly cost to the channel that I do. I really enjoy doing these and I think these videos are super educational for those of you out there looking for help on these different types of filaments. So again, if you wanna try it out, link down below, Go ahead and give it a shot, 15% off, you can't beat that. So that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thank you for watching. If you wanna support me, make sure you're a subscriber. Hit that bell icon, that we get notification anytime I upload new videos, especially ones like this, if you enjoy my MakerBox series. If you wanna support me financially, down below there's a Patreon link. Donate me a dollar more, I greatly appreciate it. Current Patreons, as always, you guys are awesome. The money that I get from there ends up going into the channel to buy filaments, to help with MakerBox from time to time. All depends what it is, buy new lens. So I thank you guys for all the support that you give me. If you want to support me without spending your money, down below, loads of affiliate links. Go ahead, do your daily shopping with those, especially things like Amazon or Maker Geeks, whatever you're buying your filament from. I appreciate you guys using those and anything else you guys do, even if it is just to watch this video. So thanks for watching, and until next time, happy printing.